Welcome back to another episode of Razorback Reels. I'm Adam Roberts. And I'm Aaron Imsall. We have a couple of great reviews and we have some special guests on the second half of the show. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back to Razorback Reels. We have a couple of reviews for you. And then later on in the show, we have two students, Karen Brown and Desiree Williams, who have put together a Take One Film Productions club here on campus to help make some movies in Fayetteville. So that'll Sounds be pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Well, well, of course, you came in for the reviews, not for our wonderful guests. But so, first up, we have Adventureland. Where are you at my house today? My dad's out of town. Yeah, I'm invited. Yep. That's why I'm telling you. Let's party! <laughs> James, every time you meet a beautiful woman, don't you imagine what she'd look like naked? Come in. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll be in in a second. Oh, overhead him! Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah! This spring. Be cool with that. From the director of Superbad. Nice bite, Grandpa. There's a whole corn dog. <laughs> My big brother's such a all right, we got Greg Matola's Adventureland. A lot of people, when they saw this preview, assumed this was super bad in uh, amusement park, but it turns out it's not. It's more of like a coming of age story, which I would compare something like the Wackness meets Garden State, and throw in like a little spice of pepper of uh, maybe super bad. It has some super bad moments, but other than that, this is really more about this kid who just got finished graduating for Columbia in like romantic literature. And uh, now he, uh, things don't work out and he's no longer going to get to go on this great Euro trip that he wanted to. And instead he's stuck working at this crummy amusement park. But at the amusement park he meets up with the girl from Twilight, Kristen, Kristen Stewart. And uh, he kind of develops this relationship and he, he makes friendships. And, and it turns out this guy learns a lot about himself and it's a lot of introspect. And then you got, you know, the comedic touches from Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig. And, uh, you know, this movie is not a straight up, you know, just punch in the nuts comedy like you, well. can see, <laughs> like you see in the preview a lot. That, although it happens a lot, it's not that kind of comedy. There's a lot more to it. And I like that part. Uh, I like Jesse Eisenberg, who's the lead, the lead kid in this. Um, he was great in Squid and the Whale. And uh, he brings a similar kind of performance in this, kind of an introspective week at times. But then he turns into like this super pimp guy at the end where all the girls are chasing right. after him. So it's a really strange combination it's, how that works out. We were talking about before the show, this might be, you know, Jesse Eisenberg's character might be Woody Allen when he's still growing up, just graduated from college because he's so awkward and, you know, so, you know, he's really smart but still so socially awkward. But for some reason, he ends up dating, like, the most beautiful women at his job. So this would be, you know, 20 years ago, maybe have Diane Keaton or a young Meryl Streep in this role. So I thought that it, this is a character that you could connect with, although it was a little bit funny how everything happened. I really enjoyed this movie. You know, like uh, Aaron brought up, even though it's by the director of Superbad, and if I described the full plot to you, you'd probably imagine sort of a Superbad comedy. It's not. It's more melancholy, a little bit more of a dramedy, I'd even say. I really, really enjoyed this film. I thought Kristen Stewart was the star of this uh, star of this show. I hated her in Twilight. I just sat through the whole movie, just wishing that she would have gotten hit by the car and killed. <laughs> but so, and this movie had really low expectations, and I I loved her in this. I thought that she needs. I think that she needs to start doing more roles like this and quit slumming with movies like Twilight. Well, I think that's being a little harsh on the Twilight role. I was being nice. I, think, I was being generous I think, in that description. Well, and actually, I think that her role was very similar in this as in the other, where she played the sim same kind of character, although mm. maybe the, the words and the script and the way that the whole movie was structured is a completely different movie. The way she, she kind of played it in a somber, melancholy way, Kristen Stewart did, where she was still complaining, still sullen, and she's split between, torn between two loves in this movie. And in many ways, Adam, I think you're in mm. underestimating her performance. Now, I like her I performance. Thought, I thought Jesse Eisenberg's role was maybe closer to Bella's role in Twilight, where he's the new guy and everybody. I don't know how we turn this into the comparison between <laughs> Twilight. But, uh, we turn every show into a discussion <laughs> on Twilight. It's but <laughs> another thing is that she kind of played this uh, melancholy, post-punk, 80s, replacements-loving girl right. and Lou Reed and, and all that. And I loved how they turned that soundtrack. <laughs> 
And uh, I liked the soundtrack in this. I really enjoyed the way they integrated it. They put some really cheesy songs yeah, like Rock Velvet. Me, Amadeus. Yeah, and got Velvet Underground. Yeah. A lot of great bands in here. Yeah, and they, they took some like the 80s dance hits and they combined them with more like the underground, like, you know, post-punk stuff. And I really enjoyed that. I think it added to the feel to make it more authentic, making it really felt like you were there in the summer of But at the same time, it never felt like it was... This is a nostalgia piece. It never put pushed on me. Like no, American no, it never beat you over the head. Did. No, right. it didn't like it's like over the top mustaches. I mean, although Bill yeah. Hader had a he big mustache, but it's not like yeah. over the top costumes. You don't yeah. feel like. And you have like a little shot of Reagan on TV, but it's not like you know even Watchmen, where it's just this is the 1980s every five minutes. Instead, yeah. it was yeah, it felt more realistic. It felt. I agree. I, I really it. liked how, how I heard that uh, Greg Matola that this was like a semi autobiographical. That word always catches me up. You're right. <laughs> but uh, right. work in that. And I can see that, you know, it felt like maybe that was his character of the Jesse Eisenberg, you know. And you can kind of see that a lot, that maybe it was real personal touch. And I liked how things enveloped, you know, with his re two relationships and the girls' relationship. It was a really interesting movie. But if you're course, expecting super yeah. bad, it's not what, this is not what you're going to get. Right. You're going to get something a little more in this. Right. It's a different movie. I liked both of these, both super bad and Adventureland. Ryan Reynolds, of course, is in this too. Yeah, and he had a yeah. nice little part. I mean, I don't right. think he, he plays breaks Ryan, any ground. He plays his Ryan Reynolds role that he does so yeah. well. Yeah, but he did so, well with that little part. I, I agree. I enjoyed it. Of course, as you uh, may have noticed from the episode, we ran for three weeks during spring break. Fast and Furious finally came out. Yes. So here's from the trailer. Give me a name! Give me a name! You here to take me in, O'Connor? Hell no. She's my friend, too. Alright, Fast and Furious. I, of course, have only seen all of the first one, parts of the other two. This seemed pretty indistinguishable from the others. I still can't keep them quite apart in my mind and I just saw the new one on Friday. But I, you know, I enjoyed it. It's what you expect from a Fast and Furious movie. You have uh, the original cast back from the first film which I thought helped a lot and you have some really cool ch car chases. There's not really, you know, a whole lot of depth here and that's actually part of what I liked about it too. I remember uh, Transporter 3 came out, it took itself way too seriously. It tried to be this, you know, epic sort of adventure, you know, with all these, you know, like cutting, nitty gritty, boring ultimatum type shots. Instead, Fast and Furious knows what kind of movie it's trying to be. It's for people who like watching fast cars and like watching Latina girls in bikinis wax them. So Fast and Furious, <laughs> if you like the other ones, you're gonna like this one. If you didn't like the other ones, you won't like this one. Uh, I think you made a good point, Adam. Uh, this is Fast and Furious. They didn't even try to change the title other than <laughs> taking out a couple of thes. Uh, this is the story that you saw in the first one, only the next part, the next step. It kind of doesn't really consider the Tokyo <laughs> Drift part, although they do make a veil right. little reference to Tokyo. Here things are great in Japan. Yeah, here things yeah. are great in Japan. Yeah. But uh, this is the Fast and the Furious movie that I think they needed to make after the first one. Mm. Um, it brings back Vin Diesel, who's kind of suffered these days, finding good roles. Paul Walker hasn't been nailing things, good roles either, hasn't been winning <laughs> Academy Awards. And uh, Michelle <laughs> Rodriguez gets fired off loss for a DUI. So and Jordana Brewster is... Still missing yeah. <laughs> until they uncovered her for this role. So this is a cast that needed a big role and they finally got it because this movie is selling like crazy. It made like 70 million or something right. over the weekend. Made huge dollars and uh, yeah, like Adam said, they know what kind of movie they're making and they didn't try to take themselves too seriously. Vin Diesel still playing, you know, that bad A Dom that doesn't take no crap or nothing and Paul Walker still want the wannabe cop that still thinks he's tough yeah. and you know. It seems like it's somewhere from the departed only with less swearing. It's like yeah. Paul Walker is a post Keanu, you know, he knows what Keanu there can do go. and he's, he's he trying to take Keanu to another, yeah. he's trying to take Keanu to another level, only the blonde haired Keanu. There we like, go. Only a more car loving Keanu, <laughs> but uh, no, there were some interesting characters in this, you know, if you, if you like these fast cars and explosions, they got a lot of explosions in this. I think it really stepped it up in the explosions area. Oh yeah. Took the explosions I like the first to another part level. especially too. Yeah, first explosion, yeah. of course, we've already seen that in the uh, preview like 17 times. But, hey, uh, I still, I still loved it. The I race across the, the desert is good. You know, there's no really big spoilers in this. I don't think you're going to be surprised with anything. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, yeah. did that really happen? It's you, like a big screen version of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I mean, the biggest like surprise <laughs> happens at the very end. And I don't think you're really too surprised at the very end. There was a surprise? Exactly. I'm sorry. And that's the biggest surprise <laughs> in the movie. Could you remind me what the surprise exactly. was? Exactly. I mean, 
This is yeah. the same director, Justin Lin, that directed Tokyo Drift. Tokyo, right. And uh, this is a lot better than Tokyo yeah. Drift. It was, what's his name? Cohen, who did the first one. Rob Cohen, yeah, Rob who did Cohen. the great Triple X. Yeah. Oh, right. Not great Triple yeah. X. So, don't, oh, well. gladly that you didn't Vin bring Diesel, him back. Not but the uh, next James Bond. Yeah, I don't know. You know, if you like, I think you'll love this if you love the, the first Fast and the yeah. Furious. Yeah, I mean, I did enjoy the first Fast and the Furious movie. I gave this one a, you know, see because it doesn't break new ground. It's not a great movie, but this is something that's a lot of fun to go watch, and it's something where you get in your car after the theater. It's really hard to remember to obey the traffic laws because you don't want to after seeing this movie. And people that fall in love with in inanimate objects, I think, will really love the cars, especially <laughs> car lovers hey, in this hey. will uh, fall in love with the cars. In I this. appreciate a good body regardless of its make. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, so, we're already quoting it. And, exactly. And this is, yeah. So uh, we, we'll try not to bring any of the cheesy quotes out. But, uh, Dr. Are, Fast and Dr. Furious are not here to yeah, comment. Yeah, I gave Dr. Fast and Dr. Furious a pretty hard time <laughs> when they were here in the show, and I really gave it to them. So they're not able here to defend this, and I'm sure they will defend Paul Walker's work in this. You yeah. put him up there as, yeah. you know, in where Brando is and, and so <laughs> forth. But uh, I don't quite think this is that level. And you'll probably, if you like, I don't know, <laughs> you might like it, whatever. You know what you want to expect. Yeah. I hope by now, if you know that it's an action movie, so yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think we mentioned, yeah. I think we, we decided that this is a car movie. Go see it. It's fun. Yeah. Well, we do have a trivia question. And this one is more related to Adventureland. Now, pay close attention. Which director... Directed Adventureland director Greg Matola in two films where he played a director. Where Greg Matola played a director. Right. Okay. So, which director directed Great. Adventureland director Greg Matola in two films where he played a director? It is Woody Allen. Yeah, no surprises there, because it very Woody, like we mentioned, very Woody yeah. Allen-esque. Have directors playing directors. We wonder where he got that inspiration from. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. But, uh, well, welcome back, and of course, uh, we do have a couple guests here. We have uh, Karen and Desiree, welcome to Take One Film Production. And uh, of course, we did want to mention real quick, the music hearing behind us by Marie Cherie, who died, sadly, last week. Of course, composed music for Dr. Zhivago, Lawrence of Arabia, some of the most recognizable scores, and also Dead Poets Society, Ryan's Daughter. So, yeah. really sad this, but yeah. we mm -hmm. still enjoy his work. But, all right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, what exactly is the script that you've started? Uh, well, we haven't exactly started working on a script mm -hmm. yet. But uh, what we're going to be doing is we have a website that um, people can submit their ideas for films, and then we'll uh, kind of select it from there. All right, all right. So then who will be uh, making these movies? Um, the students of the University of Arkansas. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, so uh, what, 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 got you, what gave you the idea to start a group like this here? Um, well, I've worked on an independent feature before, and the props master kind of had this idea for, uh, for my school mm -hmm. um, to have a, a kind of a film club. So um, when I came here, because it's my freshman year, um, we kind of decided to implement that um, in, a, in a different way with the majors. Makes sense. Makes what was sense. the movie that, that you worked on? Uh, it's called Deadly Obsession. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Any it's, names uh, that we would know that were involved in that? Um, probably not. We will soon. <laughs> but we will soon. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then uh, what, what are your majors in? Do you, if you have majors, I think the freshmen <laughs> usually wait now. That's but, right. Yeah. Right. We're both business majors, yeah. Okay. Yeah, very, very <laughs> smart. I don't know if there are that many jobs right now for film people. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I assume that you're big fans of the show, since I assume everybody is. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So what are, what are your, some, uh, some of your favorite movies? I mean, Aaron and I, is, everybody already knows ours. So what are some of your favorite movies? Um, our favorites? Well, um, Hmm. My favorites are Atonement, Before Sunrise, The Dark Knight, just to name Excellent. a few. <laughs> um, something to sing about. It was like a, a small film, but yeah. uh, it was a, Christ, a Christian based film. And um, Wanted, I loved Wanted. So uh, I'm into action. It likes the action. Lots yes. Of, uh, yes. I like yeah. Wanted as well, so I can feel you on that for All sure. Right, great. Was, <laughs> I don't know if you saw Wanted. So I, uh, I did see Wanted. Oh, you did? I did. Uh, you never I don't remember on. what I gave it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was, was it during the summer? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. 
We try and remember what grades we give everything so we can stay consistent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the, the f is there a certain like idea of film that you're that you're beginning to work on, or have you got a lot of ideas submitted already for the films that you guys are working on? Um, yeah, we've uh, we've been kind of trying out some ideas with our club. We're talking about doing maybe like a TV series kind of soap opera thing. Mm -hmm. um, any okay. other ideas? Um, uh, something I guess just a feature type film, you know, like. Drama, maybe. So okay. It's yeah. sort of the, the area we're like geared towards. So if somebody does have an idea, where they where exactly can they submit this? Um, they can submit it. We're gonna have a form on our website, mm -hmm. uh, which is currently um, in progress. <laughs> yes. Right. So um, uh, it's going to be ready um, April around April seventeenth. Okay. But um, we do have a a a group on Facebook. Right. Um, <laughs> so uh, and it's called. It's a uh, Take One Film Production Club. Right, with the yeah. number one, right? Yeah, with the number, number one. Because right, right. yeah. I tried searching for it earlier today. I was like, I know I joined the group. <laughs> yeah. 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 We chose number one because it looked better on a t-shirt. Hey, that's good thinking. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, obviously, I sh was, am in the group, so I already know. But if a student watching this wants to get involved, how can they do so? Um, they can join our Facebook group or just come to one of our meetings. So the meeting times will be posted on Facebook. Excellent. Yeah. No, no, Aaron didn't come to the meeting, but uh, did not. No, <laughs> he wants to get involved anyway, right? <laughs> That's right. Of course. <laughs> Good. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Right. Yeah. So then, you know, in the Fayetteville area, there aren't a lot of, I mean, at least from what I know of, there aren't a lot of groups that are involved in making films. I mean, we have a documentary program here that's really great, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but as far as, you know, fictional films, I haven't seen a lot. Do you think that there are a lot of people who want to get involved that just don't have a structure in place? Or mm -hmm. Well, we hope so. That's kind of what we're hoping to, to, um, to generate, I guess. And then do you have any experience in shooting or writing? Or? Um, I have experience in acting. Okay, okay. Yeah, like um, in high school I was in a lot of, a lot of um, plays, so, so that's sort of where my experience comes from. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And of course all movies need actors, so I'm sure. Exactly. A lot of the drama students would want to get involved as well. <coughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> so then what, uh, so far this year, I mean, we've, we've liked a few movies. What have you all liked so far that's come out this year that you've seen? Uh, this year? Yeah, because this is the rough, it is the rough yeah. season, the <laughs> beginning of the season. So maybe there was one that maybe surprised you all, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think I've seen many films that came out this year. Um, what was your favorite from last year then? Yeah, that's a better question. <laughs> oh, The Dark Knight. Dark Knight? Definitely. Um, and I just saw Benjamin Button, so yeah. it, was, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I like that as well. So that was my uh, number two movie of last year, so I'm definitely on the same page as well. <laughs> that was one that we argued about a little bit. Yeah, we did. Right? That was, that was <laughs> a semi-controversial one on the show. So. Right, we agreed all the time this episode. It was so yeah. very boring for our viewers. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So have y'all seen Slumdog Millionaire yet? No, no. we haven't. Yes. That was we want to it's been so like bad. a week since I chewed you out for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. Yeah. I just watched again, a part of it again today. That's how much I enjoyed that. was my number one movie of last year. So Yeah, everyone seems to love it. So. Yeah. And you can learn how to dance at the end. It teaches you how to Bollywood <laughs> dance at right. the end. Oh, so right. what's, what's, yeah. what's better than that? So. But. That's awesome. <laughs> So is there any specific uh, movie styles that you, you think that you're aiming towards? Is it going to be, you know, you, I know you talked about some of the ideas, but is there anything you have in mind that you want to, like, stay in the area of besides, you know, talk about drama and maybe, like, a TV series? Is there, like, a certain genre you feel most comfortable with, I guess I should say? Um, probably more, like, drama. Not so much accident action. I don't think we could have, like, the budget sure. for it. No, <laughs> kidding. Special effects. Yeah. Yeah. no yeah. science fiction. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yes. Um, and maybe comedy. Comedy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's always good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're pretty open to ideas. Right. Good deal. Of course, uh, Aaron and I tried to make a film of our own. That's right. <laughs> over school. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. finished up making a film, so. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. have to. Really? We'll be promoting that a lot more on the show, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, be looking for that, of course. Right. Soon, so. Right. so then, uh, I know that you've. Uh, you know, like you're still just soliciting ideas at this point. If anybody's involved in writing a screenplay or have one that they've already finished, maybe, what can they do with that? Could they still get involved? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, 
Like on our, when we get our website together, you can um, easily like submit your script if you, you feel comfortable or you could just see us mm -hmm. you know, or talk to us one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. we, um, we would love to work with it, so yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I heard you just got an internship in California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. I got an internship with uh, Red Wagon Entertainment in California. Cool. So, and what's uh, what's Red Wagon Entertainment? Um, it's you know Gladiator. Mm -hmm. It's um, mm -hmm. the producer of Gladiator. That's it's a, it's his company. Oh, excellent. So. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Anytime you can work on uh, any, the producer's Gladiator, you know, of course, a Best Picture winner. Come on. Yeah. You gotta take that yeah. Up. <laughs> opportunity for sure. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, you'll be sticking around the U of A for quite a while. You can hang with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Excellent. <laughs> Fun, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so are you all from around the area, or? Um, I'm from Little Rock. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Pretty Austin. close. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's a great, great city. So yeah. what, what made you want to leave Austin to come to U of A? Uh, I got a scholarship. Oh, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's a good reason. <laughs> End of yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So you're a big Atonement fan, though. We, I, yeah. I didn't care didn't for it that like much. It. Uh, no. I was an Atonement fan as well. So once yeah. again, leaning towards my side rather than Adam's. So mm -hmm. I like Joe Wright. I think Joe Wright's a good oh, director. He's amazing. Pride and Prejudice was a very good film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking forward to The Soloist, which That'll is coming out in April. Yeah. His next film. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I agree with you. Atonement was good. I was surprised <laughs> by Atonement. So I, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big Kara Knightley fan. I just didn't, just didn't do it for me. Yeah. I just, no, I, I want to keep spoiling the ending. I have to keep reminding myself. Well, <laughs> no not spoiler. allowed to say that. Of course, that. it's been a while now, so. Maybe people have seen it. Right? Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Ho or hopefully not. <laughs> 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 right. Well, uh, so do, you, do you see any of the Fast and the Furious movies? And we're yeah, a huge fans of that. Do you have a take on the fans. Fast and Furious series? Because we've had, that's, this past month, it's been a big controversy on the set here at Ridgeback Rails, so. Any take on the Fast and Furious series? Um, uh, we, I, I haven't seen it, so. <laughs> um, I, well, I guess they're they're pretty good if you're like um, like cars and you know action or what have you. So. Um. Very nice way to end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's how. We, that's yeah. pretty much how we tried to say the same thing. So yeah. Uh, yeah, you're on the same page as we are. So. so yeah. Excellent. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, unfortunately, we didn't have our Dr. Fast and Dr. Furious, our resident yeah, doctor on campus. Dr. Furious is apparently trapped in California. Trying probably to look mm -hmm. for the... Uh, I thought he would have just stolen a car by now and driven back. <laughs> I think he's looking for Dom right now. <laughs> That's probably... He is, yeah. yeah, he's in Santa Monica. He's there, he's there wor working out right. with Dom, trying to get him build up the muscle tone. So, uh, right. there you go, Dr. Furious. He's <laughs> <laughs> looking out for you, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, our loyal viewers know what we're talking Sorry. about. The rest of you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> we try to build some continuity on the show. You know, you yeah. have to see the past ones to understand it. It's like ones. Lost. If you missed the first episode, just don't even bother. I mean, <laughs> don't no, bother. I mean, oh, go, okay. yeah, catch up. Razorback yeah. Reels.com, yeah. yeah. watch all of them. Yeah. All right, almost yeah. scared away our viewers right there. Bad <laughs> idea. All right, so once again, it's uh, Take One Film Productions, mm -hmm. and it's a registered student organization, right? Yes. yes. And yes. then we're, we're going to get funding from ASG? Do we know yet? Uh, we don't know did, yet. We hope so. Did we apply yes. for this semester? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, they're finishing up appropriations right now. Mm -hmm. I just got off the phone with one of them, so they're working hard still. Oh, great. So That's good. <laughs> um, hopefully, it, you know, a couple million, make a good movie. Yeah. Get some yeah. cranes. And It'd be really nice. Mm -hmm. Nice cameras. cameras. Yeah, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> Bring in some Hollywood types. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure that we could, yeah. Yeah, you maybe you can bring in Russell Crowe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Red Wagon. It's like, can you just get Russell Crowe down here for the next feature? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we just stopped inviting, like, George Bush to speak, we could totally afford that. Yeah. We really could. Yeah. Make a good movie that way. Absolutely. <laughs> or maybe just invite him to star in it. Who would you, if George Bush was going to be in a movie, who would you cast him as? What role would you give him? Oh. <laughs> what kind of movie? Know. Or would you want yeah, him in a question. comedy? Yeah. Or, I don't know. He, He's very that's versatile. Definitely comedy. Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No question. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like a mm, John Wayne type. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that would work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. The, comedi nice. the comedic John Wayne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just get him in and scare people. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. Hey, well, thank you so much for coming on our show, and I hope that. Everyone will check out Take One Film Productions, check out the Facebook group, and of course the website when it's up around mid-April. Uh -huh. so.
I thank you so much for being here again. And of course, thanks for watching Razorback Reels. You can turn in every Monday night at 8. We only have a few episodes left this semester, so tune into every one yeah, before you miss the twist in. And next week, we got uh, the controversial Observe and Report. Not Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, but actually a completely different <laughs> movie. So be looking forward to that. And Hannah Montana. Of course, me and Adam are looking we forward are to Hannah. We are so excited yeah. to see that. It's going to be really awkward when we go in there and watch it alone. I'm going to go by myself and sit in the back. <laughs> and Dragon Ball Z. And then, yeah, the yeah. one I'm really looking forward to. To Dragon Ball Which Z, the may, evolution. may have a Wednesday release. Don't quote me on Whoa, that. I get, I get an early jump may on it. May have a sneak so. peek there. But, but I am uh, looking forward to Observer Report. I think it's going to be back to the crude comedy. We've had these soft yeah. comedies, and now we're going back to the old crude comedies. So right. we'll I assume you all are Seth Rogen fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was on SNL this weekend, but uh, I'm sure you're too busy watching UATV to know that. But uh, we'll see. You. Oh, thanks to Fiesta Square you know, Cinema. Uh, five to four dollar movies. movies. Well, not even five, but four. Four dollar movies. Still four dollars. They didn't increase yeah. the price. So. so we'll see you next week here on Razorback Reels.